I love paradox because paradox, the truth is extremely fucking paradoxical. It is. Let's look at the loser winner dichotomy. All right. The loser winner dichotomy is fascinating because it's the line is a lot closer than you think. Winners swing. There is a pendulum drop from being a winner and a loser and it happens often. So like a winner can be in a loser's phase and then pendulum swing the other, the other way very quickly. This happens all the time. You know, I've drawn comparisons to the billionaire, the crusader, the artist, the, the fat guy, the conqueror. I said they're all the same, the alcoholic, the drug addict. I said they're all the same. Do you know why they're all the same? I'm gonna tell you why. The billionaire is a junkie for momentum, just like a fucking alcoholic. Families are falling apart. Friends are drifting away and they just can't stop. Anyone who's successful, they cannot stop. They have to keep going. And the blast radius, the collateral damage, the nuclear waste that ends up spreading Oftentimes, many loved ones get hit with friendly fire. How is a motherfucker, look at an Elon Musk. You know how much fucking damage has been caused while he power punched his way to the top? You know how many fucking fallen relationships have taken place along that journey? Hundreds, Hundred, he can't stop. He has to continue building his shit. He has to continue being at the top. He, the guy literally can't help himself. The makeup, the, the constitution, it, that, that is the exact same prototypical behavior of an alcoholic. It's no fucking different. It's just one has north momentum and one has south momentum. And that line is very close. And if you, if you look at my tweet yesterday, where I mentioned, and, and this, is, this is why depression is so dangerous, by the way. Depression is dangerous only if you stagnate in it. And what a lot of people who are in a depression don't understand is that when you are in depression, you're actually closer to the wraparound effect of being at the top, being at the apex of the emotional spectrum if you just drop a couple lever levels lower than depression. And this is where people make the mistake, they get caught, they get ensnared in the depression but if you if things get a little bit worse and you keep trying and you keep failing and you experience a little more pain you actually drop through a trap door underneath depression into absolute fucking hilarity it's true the funniest moments the most genuine joy belly laughter you will ever fucking experience the mirth happens when you're in despair you're you're almost hit this like fucking delirium where everything is just so fucking funny because nothing's clicking and then you know what there's that wraparound effect you drop another floor beneath that boom you're back at the top back into joy back into abundance mentality that's why i've always said the most dangerous thing place you can be a man is stagnant as long as you are moving, it doesn't matter if it's up or down. The momentum can be going completely in the opposite direction. As long as you're dropping, 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 you're going to arc back up. And then you start the cycle again. You understand? So it's a north-south cycle. And people are afraid of the pain and the despair and the torture of dropping even below a rung on the ladder lower than depression. And so they just stop. They stop fighting. They surrender. They wave the white flag and they stay put. And that is the most dangerous place to be because momentum, north or south, will get a man through. It don't matter if things are going bad. As long as the momentum is keeps taking you down, 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 you're gonna fucking rebound. It's a guarantee.